Hey coach, what's going on? My name is Coach Ben from buildmysportsbiz.com and today I want to show you an easy three-step system that's going to help you with your marketing as far as getting your message out in front of a lot of parents, a lot of prospects, a lot of, of clients that you could be working with. All right? So this is going to work no matter what the sport is and I'm going to show you how to do this. Very easy. Okay, so everybody on the planet, especially if you live in the U.S., every one of your prospects is going to have a cell phone, right? You have a cell phone. They have a cell phone. I use this to basically do everything, right, minus these videos that you see here on YouTube. I'm, I'm using my computer to film this right now. Like, there's no special editing software that we're using um, we're not having to edit all these videos like it's just me talking right but what I'm doing right now just through this video I can take this video I can strip the audio put it on a podcast I can take this video right here put it onto my Facebook page and I can do one thing right and have processes for all of those things to go out instead of me just having a YouTube video right and it all, it's only on YouTube I could strip that and put that on multiple platforms that other people listen to that don't watch YouTube, right? And this is the way I want you to think, right? With your phone, okay, you could create literally your own news station um, because now you can go live on Facebook, which I love to do. And if you go check out my Facebook page, I love going live on there because again, with those live videos, I can go live from my car, I can go live from this office and I'm talking the same way I am right now about a certain topic or or I'm doing a Q&A and I can take that same live video right and it's going to be on Facebook people will engage with me there and then from there I can take that audio put it on the podcast I can take that uh, video I can share it on my newsletter like this way you can get multiple people right to watch or listen to whatever it is you have to say and how is this going to relate to you? Well, it's very simple. If you looked at any of the clients who I'm uh, consulting with right now, everyone for the most part is doing this. They will sit in front of the computer just like this, okay? And they will talk about a topic that is going to be relevant to parents, okay, and their kids. So let's say you are a tennis coach, okay? Well, if I was a tennis coach, I would have videos for parents. Like, I don't need to be at the court doing this. I could be in my office talking about confidence, talking about nutrition, talking about mindset, talking about preparation. I could list 52 ideas, right? And once a week, I could go live talking about one of those ideas. And whenever the live video is done, it doesn't matter if anyone watches it or not live. You could take that link. And if you have an email newsletter, the, the way that I advise people to, to set up, then you can take that link, put in your email newsletter, and write an email to parents and say, hey, parents, I just went live. I'm sorry you missed it, but I want you to check this out. This is going to add a lot of value to your son or daughter. All right? Boom. They go watch that. They You do that one time a week over the next 52 weeks. Now you are in parents' head all the time outside of your actual training session. And think about how much value that provides not only for your customers, but for people who don't know you yet, um, people who aren't in your actual program, they will see you over and over again. Ultimately, they will become a customer, right? There's a reason why a lot of coaches end up buying our Startup uh, Sports Academy book. It's because they see me talk all the time here on YouTube. They want to learn more. So if you want to learn more, you can go get that. It's only $1. It's like basically nothing. Um, and we have a link below. You can go check that out. But it's like... That's easy for me to sell because I'm consistent on here with my uh, with my content, and I don't just use that content here. I spread that around everywhere, right? And you can do the exact same thing. And here's my challenge for you. It doesn't matter what sport it is, right? As long as you can show that you have knowledge and you are the authority in your space, for some reason, parents have this thing in their head. When they can see you on camera, it's almost like you are... Um, I don't want to say a movie star, but they they start to resonate with you on a different level because now you're talking to them like on a daily basis about something that you could be talking to them in person about, 
But now it can help a lot more people because it's more scalable because now you're reaching a lot more people at once through a video. And from my experience, I absolutely hated doing videos at the beginning. It was very, uh, I was very nervous. I didn't know what to say. I would overthink, I'd overanalyze. Now I just don't care because I've done so many of them. And my advice for you is like, if you really want to create the, the premier brand in your city, you need to be doing videos. You need to be giving more value than your competitors are. And I don't care if you're charging for it or not, that is going to be the thing that separates you from everybody else. Because like the honest facts are, when I create a video like this, it helps you, it helps anybody else who's watching, know, like, and trust me more, right? And if I'm just gonna sit back here and make one video a year, that's not gonna do anything. Like no one's gonna remember that. If I'm here twice a week, right, putting out content, over and over again, consistently, like over time that grows, that grows an audience. That's why we've been able to grow our subscriber base here, right? That's why we've been able to grow our, our email newsletter. That's why we've been able to get coaches to buy our books. It's through video. And that is going to be a very easy way for you to take that, take that concept and scale it across like multiple videos every single week, right? And what I do, like you probably notice if you watch my videos, it looks like I'm wearing the same shirt. Well, I am because I'll sit here and do like 10 videos and then I'll schedule those to go out on YouTube. You can do the same thing on Facebook, same thing on your newsletter. So here's my three-step process though, right? I wanted to get that all that out of the way so you understand what, what I do, but here's my three-step process that you can do. Number one, you want to pick one day and film all your videos. Right? These could be three to five minute videos. They could be two minute videos. They could be a one minute video. Doesn't matter. All right? But film, like I would say, let's see here. I'd say eight to 12 videos. All right? And if you have to edit them, great. If you don't, like if you're like me and you just get it out there, great. Do it that way. Doesn't matter. But what you can do is you can go to Facebook and you can upload those and schedule them to go out. And this way, guess what? Over the next, if you're doing one video a week, over the next eight to 12 weeks, you don't have to do anything. Like you could do that like three or four times per year, have one day where you shoot all your videos. Like that will take you less than three hours if you're, if you're creating like two to five minute videos. Like that's so easy, right? And then you have those go out over a period of time or what you can do is you have a day, like I like this better, like you have a day where you go live. When you go live, you can't worry about edits. You, you don't worry about anything, you just have to do it, right? And that is going to be something where, all right, boom, I go live every Tuesday, Friday on my personal page, on, on my Facebook page, on Ben Neighbors, you can go check that out. Um, I typically go live on those two days. And then I can take that, I can email that out to my audience. I can take that, I can strip the audio, put it on a podcast. Like I can use that in multiple different platforms, all right? It's very easy. And I can also, and I'm gonna be doing this, Take that same live video, put it on here on uh, on YouTube, right? Because that content's gonna be relevant here, right? So the three-step process is find a day or create live videos, right? And take that content and now start to share it in other places. So step two is have a newsletter, okay? Start to share that content on that newsletter where people can click and go watch it, okay? Step three is always have a call to action, all right, you'll hear me talk about at the end of every single video here, hey, who wants to talk to me on Saturdays? Like since we started this YouTube channel, I mean, I had another one that was more soccer based. Every single Saturday since I started offering that, like doesn't matter how many views these videos have, we have coaches every single Saturday who are on the phone with us asking about how, how we can help, right? So you have to have a call to action. If I just have a video um, especially if I, if you think about parents, if I have a video for parents and their kids and I'm like, all right, I'll see you next week. And then like, I don't say, all right, who wants to come to a free uh, evaluation session? Who wants a free trial to, to my program? Like you need to end with an offer, which is step three. So step one, create the content. Step two, like send out the newsletter, all right? Get or get that on multiple platforms. It's easier than you think. Step three, in the videos, always end with an offer or in the newsletter, always end with an offer to get people closer to your business, right? I hope this helps out, guys. 
Um, I know I got kind of scatterbrained there for a second, uh, but what you need to do is have a system that works for you. That system works perfectly for me. Like, and I'm telling you right now, as I'm shooting this video, um, I am in the beginning of February. This video is probably going to go out um, sometime in June, or sorry, May or June. Like, I don't know. It depends on, on how we schedule it out. But this is me doing the work before, all right? And I'm, I'm open enough to tell you that. Like, I'm not going to sit here and create one video every day uh, and put post it to YouTube. That would be way too uh, draining with my time. I, I don't have the time to do that. You don't have the time to do that. But what you can do is you can batch together things on one day or one morning and get it done, let it go out, schedule it out, use the software that, that is given to you for free. And I just feel like in, in today's age, if you're not using Facebook, if you're not using YouTube to get your message out there, you're going to be behind. And that's really only going to build your confidence and your personal brand in the future um, because we have been doing that for the last couple of years. And I can tell you, it is so much easier to run your business when you have systems in place and you can automate your marketing. That's what we do, right? And that's what I want you to do, all right? So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope this helps you. I hope it inspires you to, to go take action on that. Go start to shoot some live videos. Go do one video this week or go do a bunch. Schedule them out. And you can't be afraid of what people think. That, that's my last thing is if you're afraid of what people think or what they say about you, like you're going to get weeded out of it. If you go into it knowing, you know what, I just want to help one person with what I'm going to say today, then it's worth it. And I know there's going to be at least one person who watches this video who's going to be like, all right, I need to go create videos now. All right. So I did everything I did. I did everything I, I needed to do today. All right. And I'm not going to worry about if there's any negative comments. Okay. Right? Because that doesn't matter to me. All right. I care about who can I help. And that's the way you need to think. Who can I help? All right. That's it. I'll catch you later.